Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a video talking about 25 bookish facts about myself. I tab almost every single one of the books I read no matter if it's good or bad. I tend to always tap my books and it's been a habit for so long now. When I'm at the bookstore and I'm buying a book, I check like 10 different copies to find the one in the best condition. I will check the spine. I will check the front to make sure nothing is creased or cut or whatever. I'm so picky <laughs> when it comes to in-store book shopping, but bookish merch has been everything to me. And before I wasn't really into it, I was kind of like, okay, like I spent enough money, like I need to buy bookish merch. but getting it in like subscription boxes or seeing it online or seeing it in store and you're like oh my god I need it like I don't know I just really love book merch and not even just specific to a certain series but just like book book quotes or like just bookish related stuff that's not books is everything. <laughs> I have so many nice bookmarks and I use none of them. I use my pack of tabs as my bookmark or I use a cue card. I'm one of those people and it pisses me off because I would love to use the nice bookmarks that I have. Beautiful editions that I love are the Penguin English Library editions, which are these nice classics that they look beautiful. These Stephen King editions I have, they are the gallery books editions. I really like them. The spines look really nice. They're all different colors. I also love the olive editions, which are just these little ones and they're so cute. And, I and like the spines are all different colors and they like match up really nice and they're just so cute. And they're like a wide variety of books too that are in those editions, like fiction, nonfiction, um, always adult but yeah they're really pretty. I if you didn't know this already I do read and really enjoy manga as well. The first Stephen King book that I ever read was Carrie when I was about 10 or 11 years old. <laughs> I had a Nicholas Sparks obsession back in the day not just with the movies but with the books as well but mostly with the films but I did have all the books I and there was a lot of them. I did have almost all of them. I remember going to Indigo and buying like three at a time and I thought that was so many at the time when now it's like three books at once isn't that many for me anymore. But I just remember like going to the store and like getting Nicholas Sparks books like The Notebook and Dear John and The Longest Ride and whatever and <laughs> it was just an interesting time in my life. <laughs> my two favorite poems probably of all time are Annabelle Lee by Edgar Allan Poe and Lady Lazarus by Sylvia Plath. Both very dark and interesting poems but I love them a lot and I have them both memorized. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a good poetry collection like about love, about loss, about death, about feminism. I love poetry so much and I've liked it like since I was in elementary school. I actually do enjoy nonfiction, which I know it's not as talked about on certain parts of booktube, but two of my favorite books in the last two years, like two of my all-time favorite, two of my two books that were my top five lists in the last two years have been nonfiction. And those include Brain on Fire by Susanna Cahalan and Hunger by Roxane Gay. Two amazing books that are nonfiction and that are absolutely fantastic. Controversial-ish. I have really mixed opinions on Colleen Hoover because I used to really enjoy her stuff. Um, I've liked a few of her books. I do like those. It was a couple years ago that I read and liked them. Like I think I read Ugly Love like two and a half, two-ish years ago and I loved it at the time. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and It Ends With Us wasn't too bad but then there's books like Without Merit that make me hate her books but like some of them are okay but most of them aren't like I have very mixed feelings about Colleen Hoover. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was a shadow hunter. Totally normal but I kind of wish. <laughs> Two books that I'm proud to say that I've read have been It by Stephen King which is massive and Moby Dick which is so dense and I don't I think I finished it or like barely finished it but I still read most of it. <laughs> Recently I've been into witchy books not like the YA cheesy witch books, but like non-fiction witch books, if you know what I mean. They're really interesting to me. I don't know why. My first book signing was one for Kendar Blake and Lauren Oliver and it was a really cool experience. It was like a really sh little small one and it was really nice and they were both really sweet. I went to a Sarah G Mass signing and spent nine hours in line and that was the most hectic signing I've ever been to in my life and I went on my own as well so it was like a different experience because I was meeting people I didn't know anybody so like you meet people when you're f standing in the same spot for like nine hours or you're standing with the same people for a long period of time and you start to talk to people and where they're from and it was just a really cool experience um I was definitely dead that day but it was a really cool experience 
and yeah a good coming of age story is everything to me like i can read so many YA contemporaries that have a message to them or have a certain meaning to them like not just light contemporary but like dark contemporary and like i just can't get enough of those death note has got to be one of my favorite mangas and it holds a special place in my heart for sure i am still waiting for gillian flynn to write another book and i will continue to sit and wait until she publishes something else because i've read everything by her and i'm just waiting or something else. Not finished the Harry Potter series. I've read up to, I've read the Goblet, like I read up to book four, so I need to read five, six, and seven. I own about five copies of Mr. Mercedes and of The Virgin Suicides, two of my favorite books. So there you guys have it. Those were some fun little bookish facts about myself. Let me know your, let me know three bookish facts about you in the comments down below because I would love to know. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe if you want, and yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you super soon. Bye!